Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, it's Rob from desireuser.blogspot.com with a quick look at mobile blogging on the HTC Desire Google Android smartphone. Now, one of the main reasons why I got my um, HTC Desire was so that I could access the internet and do uh, mobile and be able to write blog posts sort of on the move or basically away from my desktop PC. Um, so let's have a look at a quick look at the, the ways we can do it. Now obviously what you could do is you could go onto the internet um, this is one of my sites robnonphoto.com and I could log in and I could use the um, sort, of, sort of do it as I would do it on my desktop but sometimes that can be a bit fiddly and especially if you've got a uh, well, you can do it on a WordPress site because because I have I have done it. Um, but if you've got like a blogger site, a blogspot site, you can't. It's very difficult to to, to edit. Um, for some reason, it doesn't really like the browser on here. But you know, the, one of the whole points of these sort of phones is that they do have apps to enable you to uh, enable you to blog very simply, and these can be downloaded from the Android Marketplace. And so the first one we'll look at, you might just be able to see it. It's called WordPress. Um, and just look for word process in the Android marketplace so we just fire it up and it's a really simple interface for you to sort of uh, deal with the blog so there's there's my blog, Rob, well, one of my blogs, robnonphoto.com I click on there and then basically I've got three three panels I can play with comments, posts and pages so using this app what I can do is I can press this little button down here ask it to refresh and it'll uh, speak to my blog, download all the latest update, down the da sorry, download the latest comments, and then what I can do is if I if I tap on them, I can then reply um, to the comment. I can um, mark it as spam, or I could un uh, unapprove it. Or if I click on posts up here, basically what I can do is just press this plus down the bottom, and now I can add a new post. Um, post title, post content, um, I can add links, um, block quote, quotes, whatever they are. I can add a picture, um, which I can put at the front or the down, back of the post. I can add tags, I can stick it in a category, and then I can sort of save it locally on the phone or, or I can upload it that way. So that's really good. But what you, what you will notice is um, lots of the things that you would normally see aren't, aren't there. Um, but if you were actually edited on your WordPress blog, but I think there's more than enough there to, to be able to to be able to go in it, and I've done several posts like that. Now the other one, um, the other program I wanted to have a quick look at was uh, Blogaway, again B L O G A W A Y A W A Y. Uh, let's just fire that, and this gives you a great interface to work with your Blogspot, your Google Blogspot Blogger blogs, um, and you basically put your blog details in then when you want to add a new post click on new post you can enter a title um, put the details of the post in uh, add your labels and you can also add videos and add images which is which is at the bottom um, and obviously one of the beauties of using the HTC Desire if you've added the voice recognition is say when you want to do something I can just press this little thing here uh, the little microphone. This is a test post for YouTube. Let's see what it comes up with. It's just this is a test pass for YouTube. Didn't quite get it right, but you know, close enough. Though. So for simple things, you can talk to them. So there you can see there's sort of two applications: um, WordPress and Bloggerway for interfacing with your WordPress and your Blogspot blogs. However, remember you don't necessarily have to use them because lots of the other um, inter lots of the other parts of the phone will talk to your blog anyway uh, and interface with those particular programs. So let's have a let's have a quick look. So for example, if I'm looking at my photos, um, let's have a look. And I think, oh yeah, yeah, that that's a really nice photo that. <laughs> Not that it is, but I can go menu, share, and then what you'll notice when the share screen comes up, Bloggerway is there at the top, and word, there, WordPress is there at the bottom. So if I then say, okay, Bloggerway, 
that then fires up blog away and you might not be able to see it but it's already inserted that picture into the into the post so I can then write my post and it, and it sticks it on um, similarly I can go menu share and I can go WordPress and that will then open up WordPress and it will have already added that picture into the post for me so it's really nice right really nice and easy that way um, and you could do videos as well now the other thing obviously is that you probably don't want to hold your videos locally on your on your on your WordPress or your blogger site because they take up loads of memory you're probably going to host them on YouTube and so if you're using the YouTube application say up here let's just fire it up um, there we go and uh, you, what you do is you press menu and you go to my account I'm already in it but what I can do is just go back so these are all my videos on YouTube so I could pick one like this one oh sorry you press the little I icon next to the video and then you see it says just about here it says share press share and then for videos from the work from the YouTube app I can actually then share it on WordPress so I press that and it automatically creates a post where it's put the embedded text at the top of the post the embedded HTML so I can then have that on now you do have to be careful because it does you sort of limit it, it automatically puts them at 480 by 385 so you've got to make sure that your, your blog is wide enough for that but you can go easy go in and uh, and make that narrower so so it would actually fit now at the moment you can't share to uh, blog away from the uh, YouTube app, but I'm going to send an email to, to the to the developer to see if you can sort that out. Um, so as you can see, it's actually incredibly easy to to to, to uh, blog from your um, from your uh, fr from your HTC Desire mobile phone uh, to WordPress or or blogger sites. Um, we've probably got, uh, pr let me just have a quick look at Peep as well. So Peep, I don't know if I've looked at this in the video already. That's the um, Twitter client. And that makes it incredibly easy to do stuff as well. So again, say you were looking at, say you'd, uh, I say I've just taken this picture. I can say menu share, and what I could then do is select peep, and that will then hopefully upload the photo to um, to, to uh, I can't remember the, the site it, it uploads it to Twitgo that Twit goo.com and then I can add a, a tweet uh, and do it that way so you can see you don't have to fire up an app and then like look for the picture or look for the video and then then do it from actually the, the, the file browsing programs like photo or YouTube you can then blog or share to Twitter um, straight from there okay so hopefully that's given you a good idea about mobile blogging on the HTC Desire Android smartphone I'm Rob from desireuser.blogspot.com thanks for watching